welcome to Like Mother, Like Daughter. I'm Twyla. I have a Ulta haul. Mm. Excuse me, this is not coffee. <laughs> I know, it's odd. It is lemon and honey. I have asthma and I got a nasty congestion. So I am drinking hot water with lemon and honey to help break that up, but excuse me. Anyway, I have an Ulta haul for you, a lot of drugstore products and a few products that I had just been wanting that were on sale at Ulta here recently. And I used some rewards that I had coming to me, some points that were into dollars and some buy one, get one half off and some sale. Plus I had a 20% off coupon, combined them all together, and I got a really fabulous deal. So let's get into what I got in Ulta. And I did throw in, I also had a really small BH Cosmetics order that I'm gonna throw in at the end of here. And if there's anything in here that you wanna see uh, a review on or my thoughts, let me know and I will do that for you because I've been using some of this stuff. Okay, one of the things that I had my eye on early on in the year was the uh, Smashbox. Um, LA Glow Prime Bronze and Highlight and it was $42 which is really a good deal but they had this on sale for $29 and I had my 20% off so um, it comes with a comes with a one ounce of the primer water which I love a their bronze powder and their uh, Bronze Lights Warm Matte. Warm Matte. Whoa. It's really, really soft and creamy. Comes with a LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Silver Lake Sunset. Just not a not good lighting here tonight, you guys. Sorry. That's really pretty. A beautiful neutral color. And I wish I could put this on my lips. But that's really pretty. And then a blush rush in passion. And that is a nice, beautiful pink. Actually, no, it's kind of a rose doesn't show up well on my old hands. It's going to take forever if I keep dropping things, but that's a nice set there. Uh, one thing that I had been keeping my eye on for a long time and had wanted was the Too Faced Vegas Nay Stardust Palette. And uh, you guys know what this looks like. It comes with the beautiful palette with the lovely, the 12 shadows, the different cards, um, the deluxe sample of the mascara and the shadow insurance, some pigment. Basically, on one side you have the eyeshadow palette. I haven't played with these yet, but I can't wait to get into them. The other side you have the glitter pigment, the deluxe travel sizes, and then all of the cards. And that's what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to go through them and do these looks that are on these cards first. And I have a feeling that Claire is probably going to steal this from me. I really like this. It is thin. And I think this is going to travel really well for me. Uh, got the Becca Afterglow palette. I was trying to decide if I wanted the Ombre Rouge palette or the Afterglow or the oh look at that boo, 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 or the Afterglow palette. But then I decided since I was getting the Vegas Nay uh, Too Faced Stardust palette that um, I would get the Afterglow palette because I only have. Um, the Becca, the Opal, and uh, I have the Liquid and Moonstone, so I thought I would get these and use these. And these are pretty. So this gives me some, you know, I get to try these and see if I want some more full size. I think this is a great palette to try. And I also got the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I tend to get really dark right here. Uh, I don't sleep well. It's just... 
never have the and so I am um, like this uh, this Becca the lighting is awful tonight but this eye brightener it's got a peachy pink um, consistency to help brighten and um, help with the darkness so uh, I really really like that to kind of almost kind of helps I wish you could see a little bit better um, it does have an old I don't know if you remember maybe you don't but back in my day my mom I remember the makeup smell okay things had a makeup smell and that's what this smells like makeup but this um, this sets good and um, I, I like it so the Becca under eye brightening corrector and then they had the uh, they had some buy one get one half off that was going on at the same time and that was some uh, Maybelline between the 20% and the buy one get one and some points that I was using some dollars I got some really good deals so I felt comfortable I didn't spend a whole lot of money here so I'm really happy with that but I did get a lot of them Maybelline products so let me show you what I did get on the new products I did get on the master fix line I got the new Maybelline New York Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray Locks In Makeup Long Lasting Finish. Uh, and I have used this. Um, and it's 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 kind of like L'Oreal. I mean it, it, it even looks the same. So uh, I got the Master Fix Setting Powder, the loose perfecting powder. I have dry skin. I don't know why I got it. I think I was just interested in trying it to see if it would be comparable to the um, the Bye Bye Pores No More maybe. Not Bye Bye Under Eye. See if it would be comparable to the uh, Pores No More. But I have dry skin. I don't even know why I got the powder. I got the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit and I got the Light to Medium and so this you you it says right there contour blush and highlight you guys oh my gosh I am telling you right now though my blush is already starting to pop up but these are see I'm, I'm gonna show you but they're just they're just perfect for me I love them all I, I think they're great uh, I just this blush is going to pop out and crack on me, I know it, but this, this is beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful, worth it, especially with the buy one, get one half off, and if you have any manufacturing coupons, that just makes it so much nicer. I got, they had the Maybelline Master Prime Eyeshadow Base, and I got this in the color 410. It, it seems to work nice. It's a um, kind of like a neutral, not I wouldn't say champagne, but almost. The light's putting off a glow that I do not care for. Running out of some face concealer, so I got the Better Skin Concealer Corrector in Ivory. And I hear a lot of great things about it, so I thought I would try it. And here is it. So far, I think it's okay. I'm going to have to use it a little bit more. And I also got the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in Classic Ivory. This is 20. And you guys, if you want to know about, if you want to know any more about this, let me know. Um, this has got, to me, kind of a peachy undertone. I think, I'm not sure if this is my uh, skin tone or not, but it kind of like sets in. And so far I've been using it. I, you know, I should do a review on this, but you let me know if you want to see a review on it or not. I might have, I might have the wrong color for me. I don't know. 
I also picked out some L'Oreal eyeshadows. And oh my gosh, I saw Heather on Crazy Beautiful Makeup. She had a teal one. And this one actually. It was uh, Teal Couture. This beautiful. Oh, and she is so right. It is so beautiful and buttery. Oh, they're really pretty. And so I couldn't resist it. So I got some of them. But I also got this one in Violet Butte. And I've already dug into them. Violet Butte. Let's get it. Pen or chocolate. Right here. I got 202, 203, and 204. And that is one of my favorite, Sunset Cien. And it is, uh, oh my gosh. Look at this color, Sunset Cien. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is Cafe Au Lait. Cafe Au Lait. And this last one I got is Quartz Fume. It's right here. Oh, they're so, they're so pretty. You know, if these, I don't know, these are so nice. If these were in a palette, oh man. Uh, and then I picked up um, some Clean and Clear Persigel Tin, Maximum Strength, 10% Benzoyl Peroxide. Um, Claire wears glasses a lot, and sometimes she'll get a little bump here, a little bump here, and so I got that for her. I would show you the little thing, but she's got it. And then they had a, uh, I don't remember what it was, they had like a little eight-piece sample deluxe in bag. So in here was this cute little Ulta quart size bag, which you know I'll be using for when I travel. And so these are the items they had in here which was a nice little sm Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, a Kula Makeup Setting Spray, a Hava Dead Sea Moisture, Moisture and Radiance Boosting Serum, a Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Lip Gloss in Must Have Pink, and here it is. Perfect purse size. The last thing is a Benefit Triple Performing Face Benefit Triple Performing Face Emulsion in a very cute little bottle. Then I had a small order from BH Cosmetics. I picked up the Carly Bible palette for Claire and myself to share. Everybody's seen it and they're cute. They're pretty. I love these colors here. Um, and who doesn't love all of the highlighters and illuminators? They're just pretty. Also picked up a 12-piece uh, brush set for travel. And um, they're, you know, these things are really soft and really great. Really, really nice for travel. I, I, like, I like to be able to have something like this because I can open it up and, and use both ends. They had a, they did have a sale that day that you could get the Wild at Heart Baked Eyeshadow Palette for $4. Um, so I added that to the cart, um, but because it was $4, I needed one more thing to get the free shipping. And I'm not going to open this up because it's sealed and I just don't know right now if I, what I'm going to do with it. Maybe put it in a giveaway, maybe give it away to family, I don't know. So I... Uh, to, to, to get that mark for the free shipping, I just ordered another brush, and that was the number 23, which is the little flat shader brush. To never have too many brushes. And then something that I'm really excited about, and this is such a freakingly long video, and I'm so sorry, and I'm so tired, and I'm not my usual self, bleh, sorry. And if you want to see more about these, you just let me know, but I saw these. I saw these on Amazon, and these are the Tony Moly Egg Pour uh, 
mat packs. The the there is the the Blackhead Steam Balm, the Tightening Cooling Pack, and the Silky Smooth Balm. And it's their Green Philosophy Egg Balm. And so this is the Blackhead Steam Balm. And well, if you want to know more, just let me know. But I sell these on Amazon. If you want to see how these work, let me know. And maybe Claire and I will do these. But uh, this is a steam balm for blackheads. This is a cooling pack. Um, they're, they're eggs. I mean, this is an egg. And uh, then this is like a balm that you would put on um, after all of that. Kind of like a primer, I guess. Like a smoothing balm. So, so that from Tilly Moly. Um, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I just showed you, everything that I got on my little collective Ulta haul and a little bitty BH Cosmetics haul and my Amazon thing, if you want to know any more specifics about that, if you'd like to see a tutorial on any of that stuff or a review on any of that stuff or how I use it or what I think or blah, 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 or blah, 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 or just anything, or you want me to shut up. <laughs> Just let me know. Thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe. We love it when you do. Have a great night. Bye.